It's important to cleanse your face every day, but it's also important to give yourself a royal treatment every now and then. Explain to me, Sam and Jean, what is royal treatment? Scrub is one last thing good item which was created is, is to go after the cleanser and the toner for minimum of maybe twice a week. Can I feel that? Can I feel what it's uh, the yes. little? Isn't it pretty? Oh, it's it's got they're little beads, little and they're tiny pearls. and they're tiny and it's organic. It's organic. So gentle. It is made of uh, laminar, which one I think is an algae. Oh, soft algae. Can uh, see you smell? Yes, mm -hmm. and you have the polymer. The polymer it is an exfoliation, which one very gentle, and because of that we use it. I think in the lips, under the eyes, under the ears area, I think in your hand. We don't have any artificial. Inside so it's all sort of natural with whatever the ingredients right. are at the time. After you've cleansed with your cleansing milk or jelly mm -hmm. and toned, uh, have the skin be dry and then you'll apply it, uh, put a little into your hand and apply it with your fingers with a gentle circular motion and avoid the eye area but go ahead and get the lips because you'd like to exfoliate the lips too so to get rid of the little flakes and such. And because Royal Treatment has little tiny pearls in it, gorgeous pearls like your necklace. Thank you. um, you're not going to break any little capillaries from the scratchy sand. Uh, it, again, it's it's wonderful for all skin types, um, especially formulated for mature skin and sensitive skin. It's you, a royal treatment. It is. It's luscious. <laughs> Thank you both. Mm -hmm. Welcome to Ultimate Skincare and Beauty Report. I'm Mary Winkenwerder. Mobile applications take businesses from static to sensational in their ability to be able to execute simple procedures in a flash. One such company has taken the checkout transaction and has made it far simpler than crunching keys in a cash register. They've taken the checkout process and have condensed it into the shape of a small square. Joining us this episode is Becky Sturm of Three Way Beauty to share with us her experiences using this amazing business device. Becky, welcome to the show. Hello, Mary. Thanks for having me today. It's so good to have you on again. So when I first met you, you were we were on the phone, and you were at a state fair, and you told me about Square. This, of course, sparked my interest, and now you're here to share more details about how this works. What exactly is Square? Square is a small little um, credit card device that fits into your iPhone or your Android phone. It, I think it pretty much works with most smartphones, and it makes the checkout... Um, uh, process easier for when you're out at events, if you're at state fairs, which I was when we spoke. It was last year's Minnesota State Fair. And it just makes checkout. You can bring that anywhere. It just doesn't have to uh, bring you into just a uh, brick and mortar environment. That's awesome. So how exactly does the square work? Well, you just put it into your iPhone. You want to download the app or your, you know, your smartphone. And you... Um, can set it up. It has the opportunity to, um, or it gives you the opportunity to set it up so that you can make checkout really easy. You can take photos of product and put that in there and then just tap the screen. Wow. Or you can just use it like a little calculator. And then it adds up the whole process. It adds tax if necessary. It will add tips if necessary. And you just swipe the card. And if it's under $25, you can set it up where the client does not need to um, give a signature. Wow. Or if it's over 25 the client will just use the finger pad and um, use that to sign their name. 
and then they can either have the receipt sent to their email or their smartphone or they don't need a receipt at all. Wow, that's amazing. So obviously it is simple to use. How expensive is the device to incorporate into businesses? You know, I've been using it for a couple of years. I was, I got in onto it right away. Okay. And, um, it was free when I got the little thing. So I think it may still be free or there's a $10 charge and then, um, there's, um, it will, they'll refund your account once you start using it. Mm -hmm. But how it works is there are no, the only fee that there is is a 2.75% transaction. And some people have told me, oh, my credit card machine um, does like 1.7. And I always tell them, but does that count for American Express and does that count for Discover? Right. Because those, those two credit cards tend to be more expensive for the, you know, for the uh, retailer. And those can be four, five, almost six percent. Right. So I tell everybody when it all evens out, um, you know, this I believe is so much cheaper. Um, there's no hidden fees, like there's no, uh, you know, per transaction fee. Or there's no um, maintenance fee whenever you call Square or anything of the sort. No, there's no monthly fee. A lot of people, well, I, you know, I had a brick and mortar for several years, and you are charged X amount of dollars to just have the service, not not Square, but regular credit card terminals. You know, you rent the terminal, you buy the terminal, you're charged X amount of percentage depending on the card, your charge per transaction, and you'll usually see that as like um, plus 25 cents or plus 15 cents. They just nickel and dime you to death. Wow. And so I, that's why I thought this was so brilliant because it's a flat fee. The only time there is ever a little bit more of a fee is because um, if you don't swipe the card, but you enter it manually. But that's the same way with terminals too. That's a little bit more, um, I think there's a little bit more uh, uh, fraud issues possibly with somebody who types in a number. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I believe that's why there's a little bit more of a fee with that. But there's no reason to type it in unless for some reason the strip isn't working or you know whatever, but it's the reader really works well. Wow, that's great. It seems like they've thought of everything. It seems like they've troubleshot a an existing um i want to say incoming transaction culture and they've actually created something that's a bit more ideal yeah you know when i had my brick and mortar store i cannot tell you that i would just have so many issues with the monthly fees and you know the rental and do i buy the machine and just the changes in contracts and i always said i have always said this when somebody, and just the different fees, I just was constantly like, just what are all these fees? I always said, when somebody comes up with a gizmo or a, or some way of taking um, credit card transactions and they do one flat fee, they will be brilliant. And then, of course, Mr. Twitter did it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> So, in your opinion, do you think that Square can handle a heavy workload in terms of incoming transactions? You know how busy you were. You owned a salon for a while, and yep. you've been in them all of your life. So, yep. you know how busy that can be at certain parts of the week. And once you get, you know, your chairs full, even you know, with single or even you know, double shifts, yep. that increases. Would Square be able to handle that type of incoming traffic, like a double shift? <laughs> You know, it to I, I've never had a problem with it. I've, um, you know, I haven't used it in, you know, I didn't, ha it wasn't around when I was in the salon or when I had my boutique. It was shortly after. But I've been doing, you know, pop-up shops where, you know, I set up my products in an environment where there's plenty of other vendors, where there's tons of people on their cell phones. Um, you know, as long as there's Wi-Fi or you have a data package, Every once in a while, I've had, even at the state fair where there's hundreds of thousands of people, it can be a little slow sometimes, but not very often, and it, I really never had a problem with it. Wow. That's awesome. There's, and I know there's a lot of foot traffic at the fair, so. Exactly. And, you know, there have been a couple of times where it was a little bit slower, but, you know, a couple extra seconds is nothing because it really is lightning fast. Wow, that's amazing. You've been in the beauty and care industry about as long as I have and know about the potential um, any good product can have in terms of use. Can anyone in our industry use this device successfully? 
I, my own hairdresser uses it. I don't see why any, everybody isn't using this technology. It's brilliant. It, you can, like I said, you can take it everywhere. Hairdressers can use it at their stations. My hairdresser, I'm getting my hair done. We're almost finished. She swipes my card right there. It just makes it so easy. Um, you know, I have a coffee shop up the street who uses it on their iPad and that's how they check out. Wow. It really is the future and you know I'm curious to see you know what more um, will happen with it I do know that it was just updated it didn't use to um, it would the the square for iPhone was different than the square for iPad it was the same gizmo but it worked differently okay and um, they just updated the iPhone version to work just as well as the iPad version and, <clears throat> excuse me, and so I think that was kind of really the last step that they needed to do to make it, um, uh, you know, work for both, um, you know, small devices and larger devices. But it's it's awesome for, it, it just makes it easy and streamline every, streamlines everything, and there's really no reason that any retailer couldn't use it. So it's not just for mobile phones, it's actually for all mobile devices, pads included? Yes, exactly. Wow. That's impressive. Only, that, I just had a little problem with my Nexus um, pad. Right. Uh, my Google Nexus, it isn't compatible with that yet, but I imagine it will be shortly. You know, I'm going to reach out to Square and find out the particulars on that, and I'm going to report back in the blog. So I think that would oh. be, um, and I'm going to link it to the show post. Oh, great. That will be awesome. Cause Most certainly. I love, I love my Google Nexus 7. So <laughs> <laughs> I love my Motorola Zoom. <laughs> There you go. Exactly. <laughs> I love it. All right. So, Becky, where can we get Square? Um, I believe the uh, website is squareup.com. S Q U A R E U P dot com. Wow, or just that's great. Google, or yeah, or just Google the Square. It'll pop right up. It's it's pretty popular. Clever SEO. All right. All right, so for anyone who's interested in incorporating Square into their business operations, visit www.squareup.com and get involved. Becky, thanks so much for joining us on Ultimate Skincare and Beauty Report. It's always good to connect with you. Thank you. It was great to be here. Where can we catch up with you in 3-Way Beauty Online? You can find me at 3waybeauty.com or stormsister.biz, B-I-Z. Super. Catch up with me on my blog, www.beautybeautyreport.com, and on Twitter, at Beauty Publicist. Everyone, thanks so much for joining us on Ultimate Skincare and Beauty Report. Have a beautiful and successful week. Mwah! It's important to cleanse your face every day, but it's also important to give yourself a royal treatment every now and then. Explain to me, Sam and Jean, what is royal treatment? Scrub is one last thing good item which was created is to go after the cleanser and the toner for minimum of maybe twice a week. Can I feel that? Can I feel what it's uh, the yes. little? 
Isn't it pretty? Oh, it's, it's got, they're little beads. Little and luminous they're tiny, pearls. And they're tiny. And it's organic. It's organic. So gentle. It is made of uh, laminate, which one I think is either an algae. Oh. Soft algae. Can and, you smell. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. And you have the polymer. The polymer, it is an exfoliation, which one very gentle. And because of that, we use it, I think, in the lips, mm -hmm. under the eyes, under the ace area, I think, in your hand. We don't have any artificial set inside. So it's all sort of natural with whatever just, the ingredients right, are correct. at the time. After you've cleansed with your cleansing milk or jelly mm -hmm. and toned, uh, have the skin be dry, and then you'll apply it, uh, put a little into your hand, and apply it with your fingers with a gentle circular motion, and avoid the eye area, but go ahead and get the lips, because you like to exfoliate the lips too, so to get rid of the little flakes and such. And because Royal Treatment has little tiny pearls in it, gorgeous pearls, like your necklace. Thank you. um, you're not going to break any little capillaries from the scratchy sand. Uh, it, again, it's it's wonderful for all skin types, um, especially formulated for mature skin and sensitive skin. It's a royal treatment. It is. It's luscious. Thank you both. Mm -hmm.